hey guys and welcome back to my channel today we're going to be making this super cute turtle coaster if you enjoy these videos make sure to hit the like button and subscribe i post a tutorial every week kind of i'm trying so yeah let's just get started with the video you're gonna start by creating a magic ring do that you're going to wrap the yarn around your fingers in the shape of an X grab your hook go under the right side and then over the left side and drag the left side under the right side and twist your hook then you're going to go under the left side again and pull the yarn through your loop then you're going to chain one so you're going to wrap the yarn around your hook and pull it through your loop Next, you're going to be doing double crochets inside the magic ring. To double crochet, you're going to yarn over and insert your hook into the magic ring, yarn over and pull through. With three loops on your hook, you're going to yarn over and pull through two, and then you're gonna yarn over again and pull through the remaining two. So that's your first double crochet. You're going to do 11 more double crochets so that for round one, you should have a total of 12 double crochets. Once you're done, you're going to pull on the tail of your yarn to tighten the magic ring. You're going to close round one by slip stitching into that first stitch. So you're gonna skip the chain and insert your hook into that first double crochet, yarn over and pull all the way through. To start with the second round, you're gonna start by chaining two. These do not count as a double crochet. So. For round two, you're going to be doing a double crochet increase all around. Meaning in each stitch, you're going to do two double crochets. So that's our first double crochet into that first stitch. You're gonna go again into that first stitch and do your second double crochet. You're going to repeat that all around so that by the end of round two, you're going to have 24 stitches. To close the round, you're going to skip the chain 2 and then slip stitch into that first double crochet. For round 3, you're going again to chain 2 and then you're going to start with a double crochet into that first stitch and then you're going to do a double crochet increase into that second stitch. So two double crochets in one stitch. For the remainder of this round, you're going to repeat the pattern of doing one double crochet followed by a double crochet increase all around and by the end of this round, you should have a total of 36 stitches. To close the round, slip stitch into that first double crochet. For round 4, you're going to chain 2, start with a double crochet into that first stitch and then in the second stitch, you're going to do a double crochet and then into that third stitch, you're going to do a double crochet increase. And then you're going to repeat this pattern all around so that by the end, you should have a total of 48 stitches. Slip stitch in the first stitch to close the round. For round 5, you're going to chain 2. And then you're going to start by doing 3 double crochets. And then in the fourth stitch, you're going to do the double crochet increase. And then you're going to repeat this pattern of doing three double crochets followed by a double crochet increase all around and by the end you should have a total of 60 stitches to close the round slip stitch into that first stitch so now we're done with the coaster part you're going to cut the yarn and finish off by wrapping the yarn around your hook and pulling it all the way through Using your needle, you're going to weave in your end and cut any excess yarn. So this is what the coaster looks like. Now we're going to move on to the turtle's head. You're going to start by doing a magic ring. And then you're going to be single crocheting in the magic ring. To single crochet, you're going to insert your hook into the magic ring, yarn over and pull through. With the two loops on your hook, you're going to yarn over and pull through both of them. So that's your single crochet, you're going to repeat that all around so that you have a total of 6 single crochets.
you're going to pull on the tail of your yarn to close your magic ring now for the head you're going to be working in continuous rounds so you're going to move on directly to round two without slip stitching you're going to start by doing an increase which is two single crochets into one stitch so that's the first single crochet and then into that same stitch you're going to do your second single crochet by increasing all around by the end of round two you should have 12 stitches Again, we're moving on directly to round three. You're gonna start by doing a single crochet followed by an increase. And you're gonna repeat this pattern all around so that you have a total of 18 stitches. For round four, you're going to do two single crochets followed by an increase all around so that you have a total of 24 stitches. But you can see here that I kind of split the stitches in the beginning because when you do increases on top of each other, they kind of have this awkward shape and they show and I don't want this for the head of the turtle. So you can see here in the green piece that I'm holding on the left, here um, the increases are not on top of each other and you kind of can tell the difference even though the pieces are somehow small. So again, it doesn't make a big deal. That's just how I like to do it. But, and that's why I'm just explaining to you why I split. So going back to round four, I'm gonna start with a single crochet followed by an increase. And then I'm gonna do two single crochets followed by an increase five times before finishing the round with a single crochet. And by the end, I'm gonna have a total of 24 stitches. For round five you're going to start by doing three single crochets and you're gonna follow them by an increase and then you're gonna repeat this pattern all around so that by the end of round five you should have a total of 30 stitches from round six till round ten you're just going to be doing single crochets all around with no increases and you should have a total of 30 stitches in each round so here I added a piece of brown yarn just so that I can mark my first stitch and I don't lose count. So yeah, I'll see you at the end of round 10. Before moving on with the rounds, I'm going to add the eyes between row 6 and row 7. I chose to do the eyes five stitches apart. In round 11, we're going to start decreasing. At first, we're going to do three single crochets. And then in that fourth stitch, we're gonna start the decrease. To decrease, you're going to start by inserting your hook into that first stitch, yarn over and pull through, and then you're gonna stop there and go into the second stitch, yarn over and pull through. You should have three loops on your hook, you're gonna yarn over and pull through all of them. So that's your first decrease. For the remainder of this round, you're going to do three single crochet followed by a decrease. And by the end of this round, you should have a total of 24 stitches. For round 12, you're gonna start with a single crochet followed by a decrease and then you're gonna do two single crochets followed by a decrease five times and then you're gonna end the round with a single crochet. And by the end, you should have a total of 18 stitches. For round 13, you're gonna do a single crochet followed by a decrease. And then you're gonna repeat this pattern all around and by the end of this round, you should have a total of 12 stitches. Before continuing with the rounds, you're going to add your toy stuffing. For round 14, you're going to be decreasing all around and by the end, you should have a total of 6 stitches. Before closing the head, you're going to add more stuffing. 
Once you're happy with the amount of stuffing, you're going to use your needle to close the head. You're going to insert the needle from the center towards the stitch by going through the full stitch. Once you go all around, you're going to pull on the tail to close it. And then you're just going to weave in your yarn to secure it. You're going to leave a long tail because you're going to use it later on to stitch the head to the coaster. Now that the head is done, we can move on to the other limbs. For the arms and legs, I just repeated round 1 to 4 for the legs and round 1 to 5 for the arms um, of the head. So basically just repeat those and from each you're just going to need 2. To create the shape of the legs, you're going to grab your circle and fold it in half. And then using your needle and the tail of your yarn, you're going to stitch it to create a semicircle. To stitch it, you're going to go in the back loop of one side and then into the front loop of the other side. And then you're going to do that all across. Before stitching it completely closed, add a bit of stuffing. So now that the arms and legs are done, all that we have left is the tail. You're going to start by making a magic ring. Then you're going to do 5 single crochets in the magic ring. For round 2, you're going to be single crocheting all around and by the end you should have a total of 5 stitches. For round 3, you're going to be increasing all around and by the end you should have a total of 10 stitches. For the next two rounds, you're just going to be single crocheting all around. Similar to the arms and legs, you're going to stitch the tail to close it. Now that all the pieces are done, we can move on to stitching them together. Using your needle and the tail of your yarn, you're gonna start by stitching the tail to the coaster. You're going to insert your needle into the tail and then back into the coaster. And then you're gonna repeat that across the tail so that you secure it. When you're stitching the head to the coaster, when you're going into the coaster, you go into the full stitch, similar to the tail. Whereas when you're stitching to the head, you're gonna go into that first round where you did the decrease. You're going to stitch the head to the coaster a few times so that you secure it. Make sure that you stitch the head exactly facing the tail. Now for the arm pieces, you're going to stitch them 5 stitches away from the head. So in that 6th stitch, you're going to insert your needle. You're only going to stitch the arm to the coaster at the corner of the arm. To secure the arm to the coaster, you're also going to stitch it a second stitch in the coaster.
You're going to repeat the same thing for the legs, however, you're going to stitch it 11 stitches away from the arms. So in that 12th stitch, you'll stitch the leg. Similar to the arm, you're going to stitch in the corner of the leg, but in two stitches in the coaster. You're gonna repeat the same thing on the left side while making sure they're symmetrical. And the coaster is done. I hope you enjoyed this video and thank you so much for watching. If you end up recreating this, I'd love to see it. I'll have my links to my socials in the description box below. And yeah, that's it. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.